Okay, welcome to Daily 3D Revolve. Today I'm going to be doing a Design Spark mechanical tutorial and I'm going to be showing you guys how to create an Ace of Spade playing card. Obviously the one that we're going to make is going to be thicker because it really can't be as thin as a piece of paper. But we're going to recreate this. So we're going to go to File, New, New Design. We're going to go ahead and click there and then we're going to click the eye icon to change the plan view. <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and get our rectangle tool. I'm going to come down here and click on Define from Center. We're going to click, let's turn on our Snap to Grid. We'll click and drag out. It's going to be 2.5, then Tab by 3.5. Okay, that's going to be our base playing card. Now we're going to round the corner, so we're going to go ahead and get the Create Corner Rounder. We're going to go 0.125. And we'll do that on all four corners, so just two clicks. And then make sure it says 0.125. So we're going to go ahead and spin this. We'll go to pull. We're going to click on the face and type 0.125 in. So we're going to have a eighth of an inch thick playing card. Then we're going to go back to top view. Okay, now we're going to minimize. We're going to drag in our, um, uh, let's see here. I think I threw out the Ace of Spades playing card. Okay, I'm going to have to go get it back. All right, let's go right mouse click, save image, save it on the desktop. Okay, we'll go ahead and close that. Now we'll drag this in. Okay, we'll just put that in the middle there. Okay, let's get rid of the, we have two of them, so let's go ahead and scale this. So we'll just click on this, scale up, let's full size this, let's make it a little bit smaller. Okay, it's going to be good. So first thing we're going to start with is our little spade shape. We're going to turn off the snaps. We're going we're gonna to click there, we're going to click on the top, we're going to draw a line. 1.877 inches long. Now we're going to select the click off. Then we're going to right mouse click on that line. It's set as mirror. We're going to control plus. We're going to create half of this shape and then revolve and then mirror it over. So we're going to go ahead and create the bottom part first. So we'll go ahead and click there. We're going to drag out 0.247 inches. And then we're going to come up. 0.807 inches. We're going to create that part. We're going to select, click off. Now we're going to grab our um, spline line. We're going to go ahead and click there. We're going to start drawing. We're going to click each time and then we're going to curve. Just try to get it as close as you can. These uh, spline lines are adjustable, and then we're going to go double click there to end it. Then we're going to grab this line here, which is a tangent line, and then we're going to come from the tangent point of that line up to the top. Right there. Okay, now we're going to get our trim away. We're going to trim away this piece here. Then we're going to get rid of our line in the middle. Now we're going to pan down. We need to recreate this. So we're going to go Control Plus. It's a very basic shape to recreate. We're going to get our rectangle tool. And we're just going to click, drag out. So we have a match that square. And then we're going to come down here, click, drag out. Then we're going to go ahead and click, drag out. And now we should have three squares, and now we're going to come in the middle here, click and drag out. Now we're going to put our lines in here, so we'll come from here up to here for one. Then we're going to click there, come up to there for two. Then we're going to click down here, drag up to there, and 
let's select the click off, get our line tool again, and then we're going to come from here to there. Okay, control minus, control minus, control minus. Let's click this, click our, get the select tool, click our graphic. Let's pull this out over here. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and we're going to go ahead and select this. Actually, let's do something first. Let's control plus, control plus. Get three control pluses. Let's do our trim away on this piece here. Let's get rid of these pieces. Okay, now we have our A. Control minus, let's pan. Okay, that shape don't look too bad, except the only thing I'm going to do to it is put a little fillet in here. So you click here, 0.013. Do the same over here, 0.013. Okay, that looks better. Now we're going to go ahead and control minus. We're going to select this, drag in a marquee around it. We're going to fill it, and then we're going to copy this, control C, control V. Now we're going to grab our move tool. Let's get that out of the way. Grab the green, grab the red. Now we're going to come over here to pull. We're going to click on this one here, which is scale. And we're going to click that point there, and then we're going to click and drag down. And we want something close to the shape size of the A, which is right about there. 0.0. 1.6 I believe it was. Okay, now we're going to click on it. We're going to move it. Grab the red arrow. Move it up. Green arrow. Move it down. And the red arrow. Move it up. Green. Move it up a little bit. And then the red. Move it till it's underneath the A. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now we're going to go ahead and select that. Control C. Control V. We're going to drag our copy out here. We want to rotate this one around 180 degrees. So right there. Then we're going to drag it into shape position there. Right there, don't look too bad. Maybe up a little higher. So we'll go ahead and select, oops. Go ahead and select both of those. Hmm. Let's undo. Okay, one undo, and then just drag the red arrow up a little bit higher. Right there. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and select that with the select tool. Get rid of it. Hit delete. I'm going to spin our Ace of Spades card. Let's make sure that spade symbol is in the middle. It looks a little offset to me. I'm going to move it. Go ahead and move. Let's grab the red. That looks good. Go ahead and spin this. Let's go ahead and pull, select pull. Let's drag this out 0.1. Let's go control plus and pan down. We're going to go ahead and select that A and hold down the control key, select that. And then we're going to pull these out. 0.04 inches. Okay, do the same on the bottom one. Let's pan up. Pull. Select that. Hold down a control key, select that. 0.04. Okay, let's pan down. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the pull tool. Click till everything is selected. And then I'm going to drag a a fillet on this. Let's go 0 0.02, the small one. Okay, now I'm going to pan. I'm going to control plus. And do the same thing on the little spade. Click till everything is selected. Click and drag out to 0 0.01. I'm going to leave the text blocky like this. I like it. Oh, I grab spin. I meant to grab pan. Sorry about that. We're going to pan up. And then we're going to do the same thing to that 
shape there. Click till everything is selected. Drag out 0 0.01. Now we're going to go control minus, control minus. We're going to go ahead and put this as a top view. All right, that's going to be our playing card. This one's a little bit thicker. It's an eighth of an inch thick. Everything kind of extrudes out a little bit. Just keep this as a, you can print it out, favorite colors. Let's go top. Okay, that's going to end today's tutorial. Hopefully you enjoyed watching and you got something useful out of the video. Thanks again for watching.